So amazingly, this is what we got out of about nine, eight or nine gallons of sap. So the handy dandy instructions say to strain it through a cheesecloth or something else, I can't remember. We're using a t-shirt because we're ghetto. Don't be holding back on the sap. How does it feel to finally be done with the maple syrup? I feel seven hours older. But it feels good. We've been collecting sap for a long time. Not buying groceries because we didn't have room in the fridge for any of them. <laughs> Go show them all the empty gallons. All those gallons turn into a tiny bit of syrup. I was hoping that it would go faster. Mm. Goodness, it's going really slow. Oh, look at that. Whoa, crazy. It's getting thicker as it gets cool. Come on, syrup. Chip says I'm not allowed to eat syrup when he's not here because he knows I'll eat all of it. Well, that's going to be 32 ounces. Look down there. Oh, look how clear it looks. I love maple syrup the most. Bam, bam, bam. I'm gonna put it on my piece of toast. I mean, do you think this is what's supposed to happen? Bam. Do you think that's still syrup, but it cooled off too quickly? I don't know. Or do you think you're supposed to be skimming X amount of this funk out of there? I mean, that's not a lot of syrup. I have no idea. Maybe you just pour it in and mix it in and see what happens. Maybe the t-shirt was too thick. It might have been. Looks like peanut butter. <laughs>